Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this single line vector font. And I don't know if you can see it in your monitor, but the first three letters have been repaired. The second one has not. And I don't know if you can see that this line appears thicker than these lines. Just minutely, it's hard to kind of tell. So what has happened, this is a great font. But if you're going to use it, so this video is mainly for a plasma cutter because this cut out really fast. It did cut both lines because there's two lines inside that line. If you're a plasma cutter, it's going to cause you a little bit of trouble. So what you do, you grab your shape tool and select on this line and it just appears to be a hairline with two nodes. It even says two nodes. But we're going to select them both, and we're going to go right here to break curve apart. Or let's back up here. We can select those two nodes and just left click or mouse and break apart. Now it's going to show us that there, there is nodes on top of each other. Grab your shape tool back and just take that outside node and move it over, the outside node and move it over, and then delete those two nodes. So this line now is fixed where this one's not. So let's grab our shape tool, left click, break apart. It shows you those two sets of nodes. Just move them out of the way and then just select them both and hit delete. Same thing on this. Left click, break apart. It shows you both those nodes. So what it is, is just two lines. And in a plasma cutter, that would cause you trouble. Now, it's a little bit harder on a, on a on a curved letter. So let's select them both, go up here and break apart. Now it's going to show you all these nodes. Let's grab that one. Let's grab that one. And this doesn't always work perfectly. So let's, well, that'll work. And we just need to keep pulling these down till you just have one line. And double nodes doesn't always mean that, that they're there. So let's delete these two. We don't need them anymore. Let's grab that one. I grabbed the wrong one. This is a little difficult. I still grabbed the wrong one. Let's grab this outside one. That's still the wrong one. So we're going to hit this one right here. And that's the one we want. And then just delete it. Then we can delete that node and that node and that node and let's see what happens here and we'll delete that node. Now we still have some weird nodes, but that doesn't always mean, it just means they're not connected. And you can actually see, and I don't know if you can see it in your monitor, there's some weird boxes right here. That just means they're not joined because you can do this. So what we can do, we'll back up here, we'll select all that, we'll left click, close curve. That didn't work. Let's try this, join two nodes. And now that is one node and you can see it because it's going to move and it's connected. So you'd want to do that on your plasma cutter, join. Select these, join. Now with this one is a little bit different animal because these are actually two different cuts. So you'd probably want to leave that. Well, let's just try joining it and see what, see it won't even let us join it because there's actually three nodes there. Let's pull one apart. So one is that line, one is that line. So what we need to do is join these two nodes and then put this one back. Anyway, I know that sounds a little confusing. And if you're a laser engraver, you don't really need to do this. But see, we've got two nodes there that are not joined. So just select that area and go right here to join nodes. And now it's one node. This would be a really cool cut, a really cool for a plasma cutter. With the exception, this is going to cut out. You know, your interior parts are going to cut out. But you could do you know, some stencil work, you know, like this would work, this wouldn't work. Um, and I guess I'll continue 
I didn't even think about this. Just draw, draw, draw a rectangle would be the best. Kind of put it about in the center and cut this center part out and then remove your rectangle and maybe even put it down here. And you'd want to, if you're going to do that, I'd hold down the control button so they're on top of each other and then delete that center. And then you could use your rectangle further for other letters and they'd be the same distance apart. So this would work for a plasma cutter. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.